what's up guys this is Tomer the co-founder of the digital reach platform and today I'm going to show you how to navigate through the Facebook ads library first search Facebook ads library on your current search engine so in this case it's gonna be Google Facebook ads library and you can see right here www.facebook.com ads library it's this one right here click on that and you'll get redirected to this screen right here but let's quickly go back and just quickly describe what the Facebook ads library is the ad library provides advertising transparency by offering a comprehensive searchable collection of all ads currently running from across Facebook products. So this ends up being Facebook, the audience network, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. And this is obviously to try to create more transparency on Facebook. So when you click on that, you get redirected to here. And when you go to this page, you'll see three options that you can search through. All ads, issue, electoral, or political and housing so for this tutorial we'll just go through all ads and if you scroll down it kind of explains more what the Facebook ads library is and you can see you know see the data for all ads about social issues elections or politics and you can explore and download the ad library report so scroll back up and for this example I'm gonna research the Wall Street Journal so the Wall Street Journal Oh. Wall Street Journal here we go click on that and this you can see anyone who is currently running or previously ran ads so you can see right here it's filtered by the country uh, active or inactive uh, impressions so you can see all impressions last day last seven days last 30 days last 90 days and the platform so all platforms Facebook Instagram audience network and messenger and you can even separate the active and inactive from to active ads and inactive or inactive ads. And if you scroll quickly right up, you can see the page transparency. So you can see when this page, so Wall Street Journal created the page February 11th, 2008. The page name has not changed, which I find is always interesting. It was the primary lo country location for people who manage this page. So you can see that the United States, the UK, Japan, Hong Kong, India, Canada, and Spain. Uh, over here, you can see the total dollars spent on on this page on ads about social issues elections or politics and for them in this case in the United States is from May 2018 to March 29th 2020 and they spent about 1.1 million dollars and you can see recently spent by page on ads about social issues elections or politics within the last seven days zero dollars and you can break down the view by all ads and issues electoral or political um, so let's scroll down real quick so launched in March 2020 and you can see there's nine different ads up here that's what the number up here means so there's nine different ads and you can see it's being run on Facebook Instagram audience network and messenger so let's click on see ad detail so usually this is where they break it down and you can see what's making up this ad and you can see right here there are multiple versions of this ad select from similar versions of the ad to see details for each version uh, in this case, you know, all the ads are the same, but I, I believe they're all being run on different um, ad sets. And right here, though, like I said, this is more about the page. And sometimes they'll even, depending on who you're currently searching or researching, uh, it gets more specific. So let's go back right here. And going back to this real quick, you can obviously, once again, change it to Facebook, Instagram, if you want to search or Messenger. And the cool thing about this is that if you're a marketer, it can help you generate great ad ideas. You can see where your competition is running. You can see the copy. Uh, you can see how the ad is running, where it's being ran. And you can, you know, like I said, you can make better ads and learn from other people. Uh, so in this case, let's keep scrolling down. You can see most of the ads are run pretty similarly. However, there are ads right here, if you scroll all the way down, that you will see that are on um, stories. Yep, it's right here. So you can see right here, listen as uh, the Wall Street Journal's Melania Grace West and Betsy McKay explain how public health officials have tried to keep the epidemic at bay. And you can see they're running an ad on Instagram stories and Facebook stories and all the stories features that Facebook uh, owns. And right here, you learn more. You can see the ad detail again. You can see their call to action. Let's see ad detail right here. And once again, they're not too specific. However, this ad does have multiple versions. So you can see right here, it's a little bit different than the current one. So you can see this is 1080 by 1920 dimension. And this right here is most likely 1080 by 1080. 
So let's go back real quick and let me so I want to show you guys another example right here and you can see right here there's three different versions of this ad. And you can just see, you know, it's they have sponsored, so it tells you right here it's sponsored, which is great. And so you can even search these are all active ads. Let's go to inactive ads in this example. So right here, these are all the ads. So the ad ran without a disclaimer. So this is the Wall Street Journal. So this is from Wall Street Journal Opinion. Uh, this is back from March 2nd, 2020. Same thing here. And these are political ads, you can tell, right? So you can see right here with the logo that this is clearly a political ad. And same thing down here. This is about social issues, elections, or politics. And you, you can keep scrolling. And but you can find and research on what your competition is currently running. So back here, uh, the President's Day sale, you can see they ran a dollar for two months. And right here, so subscribe today, cancel any time, offer ends today. And you can see where the link, buy.wallstreetjournal.com. And once again, if you want to see the ad details, you obviously can. And it tells you right here how much money they spent, who the ad, in this case, who the ad was shown since it's inactive right now, the amount of money spent. And you can see here between the men, it's primarily men were being shown this ad, so 18 to 24, 38%, 38% and 25% for 45 to 54. Uh, specifically, what areas was this ad shown? So it gets very specific, and, and it gets very specific based on, you know, if it's a political ad, housing ad, it really depends. And so you can all you can basically search for anybody who ran a, whose ad is currently active or inactive. And that is it. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We will be doing more of these how-to videos. Until next time, I'm signing off.